Hi, hi, hi. All right, another weekly energy video. We're talking about the astrology of June, specifically Monday the 12th through Sunday the 18th. Uh, we're leading up to a Father's Day new moon in Gemini. <sighs> Gemini is a spontaneity. Uh, Gemini moon weekend is communication. Mercury at the top of the week is also moving into Gemini, its native ruler. So overall, yes, let's talk about our enhanced social skills. Let's talk about our communication styles. The medicine of this time, I'll say, is harmonize your feelings with your thinking. This is the head and heart. Um, what was it last week? Was there something last week that I feel like also reminded me of this? Um, it's just that with such an enhanced communication um, and social skills and enhanced thinking, things like that, it's really important that we also integrate the heart. Uh, we don't want to seem coming off too cold, too analytical. But other than that, it's an extremely positive um, time for socializing, for connecting with people, for, let's just say, making new connections. At the same time, we may be experiencing, um, there, we may be experiencing, for some people, this may be a challenging time, um, emotionally speaking, right? And I mean, I, I sort of briefly got into that in regarding um, this idea of harmonizing thoughts and feelings. Uh, but beyond that, the whole week has some very challenging transits with the moon. We have moon square Venus, moon square Mars, uh, moon square Saturn, moon square Pluto. Like what? The moon is just like challenging everything that we know and care for. <laughs> so let me read you some of what um, I wrote down that could could point to some of the challenges here. So first off, do you have discipline? Do you have boundaries? This is the energy of trial and error showing up midweek on the 15th. I feel like the 15th could be one of the more challenging days, to be honest, if not the 16th. Um, this is nine of swords energy. Swords, because that is air. And nine of swords is that card in the tarot, maybe it'll come up today, where we're lying awake at night, so painfully aware of ourselves and our egos. And it is a required rite of passage for transformation, for the final um, transformative moment of the cycle of the swords, which will be the 10 of swords, an extremely painful suit to evolve in. And yet we all do it. We all are there at some point in our lives. If you remember last week, there was a lot of influence of Venus and love. So that's showing up here as well. There, there are em emotional challenges. There is intensity and profound conversations. If you can give yourself to that, I believe that there will be um, a chance for, for that kind of vulnerability to be seen as charming, if you will, like the ability for us to see the humanness in the other. So do, do not, I will say, do not shy away from difficult conversations, um, as difficult as they, as they may seem. This is a week to know thyself as well. So I remember last week we talked about um, the potential of coming into an awareness when we behave from the expectations of others, when we behave um, unknowingly through the expectations of others, like how we show up unconsciously. This uh, show up again this week as moon square Venus and moon square Mars at the same time. This is the energy of like somebody doing or saying whatever it takes to feel that human connection. So 
is that vulnerability real? I mean, I would like to think that yes, it is, but what we don't want to sweep under the rug is the intention of it. And Moon Square Venus alludes to this increased need for love and affection. It does, I'm, I don't think it's manipulative. Again, I said this last week, there was nothing about like manipulation that showed up at all, but really what this, the stickiness of this period of time perhaps is we are all collectively cl getting clear on our intentions. And until there is clarity, there seems to be some not knowing and misconnections, like not sure if it's fitting together or not. I think there's that trial and error energy. Um, but yeah, so emotional challenges. Use your enhanced communication, enhanced thinking to your benefit this week. Um, you may experience such intense emotions that you need a timeout and that's perfectly fine. Um, which day is it? This doesn't, this is when it's at its peak. This doesn't mean that don't plan or schedule anything on this day. I'm just saying like, I think um, the 16th. Maybe you're better off alone. <laughs> it's hard to be with others. Coming into an understanding of self. Know thyself. Know thyself. So with this intention of knowing thyself and keeping our intentions clear, what can the tarot tell us in terms of messaging? I'd like to receive some messaging for that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hermit. Mm. Mm. A hermit in reverse. That means it's time to come out. Um, three of Pentacles. This is about self-worth. This is about showing up with your gifts and knowing that it's enough. Knowing that by just by showing up, you will be enough. Can't, can't make this up. Do or say whatever it takes to feel human connection and increased need for love and affection. Even though there are emotional challenge, vulnerability will be seen, will, will seen as, will be seen as charming or lead to social success. If you're participating, you will be successful. If you're participating in building a more equitable world, you will be successful. If you're not participating, what can I tell you? You're just like not there, right? You're not at the table. All right. Whew. 10 of swords. Yep, you're doing too much. This is about personal evolution. The chariot is showing up always. The chariot's always showing up. We're learning so many major lessons this year as a collective. And it has to do with each of us showing up better than, we, than what we did before. And the Ten of Wands, I guess, then is referring to the end of um, a challenging cycle. Um, for all of us to grow more interdependent of each other instead of the burdens... Um, falling just onto one party, one person, or us feeling alone in the burdens that we carry. So here we go. Well, there's a three of cups in reverse, the three of swords in reverse. Or sorry, three of three of cups in reverse, nine of swords in reverse. I told you that that was the energy, and there it is. Nine of knight of wands, nine of cups. We have two nines so far. And there's the third nine, nine of pentacles, nine, nine, nine. Look up that angel number. Uh, the Hierophant, death in reverse. Ace of wands showing up as it did last week. And also the um, six of wands showed up uh, last week as well. And so did the nine of cups. So let's go through this. Let's break it down. Something didn't work out, but it's like you didn't want it to. Um, I feel like there, this could have to do with some resistance towards finishing a cycle, 
towards transforming something, transmuting it once and for all. I think that this isn't going to be a forever thing. I think 999 does allude to, it's an angel number. It points to um, us being on our way to conclude a, an important cycle. And maybe what we're waiting for is for passion to come in and, and sweep us away. Because what I see here is the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands, both carrying a very similar energy and followed directly by the Hierophant. This is almost like we're waiting for a higher power to step in and to show us the way. In the meantime, we are sitting pretty, so to speak. Um, I think that there may be a good reason to, uh, it's showing up twice, to sit in the energy of comfort, not for too long, um, but I think that we are discovering something about where we feel confident while we're also dealing with the ego. So in some ways, what I see reflected here is a lot of self-care. There is a lot of attention being put on the self um, before we venture forward into the world. Um, this sort of reminds me of last week in the sense of that, you know, how can you expect somebody else to take care of you and to love you if you don't know how to love and take care of yourself? So that's showing up here sort of a little bit. Um, again, I, I see death in reverse. This is in the resistance position. I would love to know how we can turn that upside down, but intuitively reading this, I feel like it has something to do with this nine of swords energy. Don't rush past your lessons. There's no spiritual bypassing here, folks. Although given the spread, I think, feel that it's entirely possible. I feel that it's also um, a potential, but not for you since you're here and you're listening to this and watching this. We are certainly looking for this Hierophant energy to come and bring us out. It's almost like if it's meant to be, then it will be and it will happen instantaneously. I think what we're... Um, this, this could also be alluding to the energy of conversationalism because the higher front is Taurus. Taurus is the throat chakra uh, speaking. This could be talking about the, uh, the kind of energy behind socialization this week. And yet we have the six of wands in reverse as our final card here in the future there. This could just be the feeling of, well, this feels right for me and that, and there, there might be a moment of doubt in how um, bearing some level of truth, our truth, outside of ourselves and into external circumstances, that sliver of doubt that maybe it won't be received, right? The Six of Wands is about, is the victory card, this is about being received being acknowledged, you're ha being handed your laurels, you're being applauded and, and lauded. So that's why I say, if you don't, if, if you do all this cultivation for yourself, if you don't share it with others, is that gift really being utilized to its fullest potential? That's what I want to ask you. I think that the new moon in Gemini can lend us the kind of energy and also just uh, Mercury walking into Gemini and dealing with the difficult transits of the moon this week, we will be, I think, just under pressure, just enough to force us out of our comfort zone and uh, bring a certain realness to um, our life situations. Could be love, could be work, could be home, pleasure, whatever. The purpose of this, I believe, is for us to feel more confident in our own skin, happy pride, um, for us to ultimately seek and find 
and utilize the kind of inspiration, the energy of inspiration, forward movement, creativity that's here for us this month. Now, let me pull a clarification card about the Hierophant and also the Death card. Let's do Hierophant first, please. Nothing. Almost something. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. An opportunity, a missed opportunity. I feel like it's in reverse because we're not quite there yet. Let's go back to death in reverse. That's Scorpio, eighth house. Justice in reverse. That's Libra. There's the Ten of Swords. Okay. Before you can unlock this energy of inspiration, fire, passion, and to make the to make sure you're meeting this opportunity to express yourself um, and to be received by others. There has to be a process of, yes, accountability. Um, did that come up this week or last week? Honestly, I'm recording them on the same day, so I, I might get confused and you'll have to forgive me. Just right, just it was last week because justice is Libra and that came out. This is an accountability process. This is about fairness and the law and putting things closing closing up cycles so that we can be open to new opportunities. By the way, that is definitely nine 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 angel number energy. Nine 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 is saying get ready for things to be put away to finish up a cycle so that we can open ourselves up to new opportunities. And I guess the best advice I could give for this week is that if, if you feel that there are time, you know, if you're being invited to um, participate, you are welcome to do so and to speak at the table. If there's ever a time you feel that your emotions are getting the better of you and you need to take a step back, then absolutely do that and med you know, meditate, just rest, um, journal, do something that is uh, productive on a personal level and know that if you ever feel you need to talk to somebody, this week is a very good energy um, for finding people um, who want just as much as you do that kind of human connection. And so I think that by offering yourself uh, you will be successful in that. It's just about speaking up for whatever it is that your needs are and being clear about, again, your boundaries. Um, spend, you know, so we spend a little bit of time in our comfort zone. Do what makes you happy, okay? But if you want to take advantage of the energy that's here to move on to the next step, enter the new cycle, which evidently has a lot of passion here, um, definitely consider bringing a piece of yourself, your true self, out into the world. Uh, that's what I have for you this week. Don't forget to listen to the uh, recommended listening. It's in the description box below. Like, share, subscribe if it pleases you. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you next week.